Good morning, greetings, and welcome to my classroom. One of the things I hope happens as you watch these videos and, and get out and look around is you start paying attention, asking questions. When things don't look normal, uh, it's perfectly all right to wonder why and make some guesses, that's okay. Don't pretend you know something you don't know and, and don't be afraid to say, oh, I was wrong. That was my best guess. But as we're walking through this rather bizarre grove of aspens, uh, they're pretty stunted. There are a few aspens in here that are growing tall and stately the way aspens are supposed to grow, but mostly they're stunted. And if you look carefully, they're pretty twisted and mangled and, and beat up. And it's not just a couple, this whole section of aspens are very uh, distorted, twisted, deformed. Well, let me tell you a little story as we're walking through this twisted forest. Many years ago, when I was in college, uh, I really couldn't afford to downhill ski very often, so I took up the sport of cross-country skiing. And the area that I'm now in, in the summer, it's July, late July, I came up here one winter and I was skiing alone. Yeah, yeah, I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but I couldn't find anybody crazy enough to go with me. So I skied all the way up to where I am now and beyond just a little bit. Uh, it's about six miles from where the road would have turned off and I cross country skied in and this is long before snowmobiling was popular. And I skied into where Tony Grove Lake is and there's a parking lot there, but there was a lot of snow that winter. And as I stood there in what I figured must have been the parking lot, I tried to orient myself to where I was and kind of figured that big open space I was in was the parking lot and the big open space beyond would be the lake covered with snow. And then I looked off to my left and I saw this big hump in the snow and I thought, oh, so that must be a boulder that's under the snow. And I couldn't remember there being a boulder there. And as I looked at it and tried to orient myself, I realized it was the outhouse that was just off the parking lot. There was so much snow that winter, probably about 10 feet at least where I was standing of snow and it had totally covered the outhouse to where it just looked like a big bump in the snow. Well, these poor aspen trees right here are a result of harsh, deep winters. As the snows pile up, these poor aspens get bent and twisted and pushed to the ground and sometimes broken. But nature has a way of being tenacious and having plants that will survive that kind of harsh winter and still find a way to grow back. So as you're out and about and you see something that doesn't look quite right, like this twisted forest of aspens, come up with some theories, some ideas, and then do some research. Google has become one of my best friends. And See if you can figure out why this aspen grove is so twisted and deformed. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about nature and especially the aspens today. Thank you for attending class.